In this video, you will learn how to add a steady state storage capacity calculation to a GT Suite Catalyst model. To demonstrate how to set up this type of calculation, I'm starting with an LNT model. I will explain the components needed for calculating the oxygen storage capacity in grams per liter. The surface reactions part defines the reaction mechanism that is applied to the Catalyst model. In this LNT mechanism, the element cerium is used for storing oxygen with a site density of 109 moles per meter cubed. In this LNT mechanism, the cerium can exist uh, at two states, an oxidized state, CeO2, and a reduced state, Ce2O3. And these are modeled as two coverage fractions that sum to one. To calculate the storage capacity of oxygen in grams per liter, we take the predicted coverage fraction of CeO2 and convert it to a mass of O2 stored per volume of reactor using the following formula. First, we sense the coverage of CeO2 from the ChemCon by using a sensor con. Select the average coverage and type the name of the coverage to be sensed, CeO2. Then we use a math equation template to create an equation to calculate the O2 storage capacity. First we multiply the sense coverage fraction by the site density of 109 moles per meter cubed to get a fraction of CE sites that are CEO2. Then multiply by 1 fourth since it takes 4 moles of CE to store 1 mole of O2. Then multiply by the molecular weight of O2 which is 32 grams per mole. And finally convert the volume from meters cubed to liters. In a final step, we send the calculated value to an RLT creator for easier post-processing. I've set up this simulation to run several steady state temperature cases. When the simulation finishes, view the results in GT Post. The results show the expected O2 storage behavior of cerium in an LNT, which increases with temperature. The same approach can be applied to any catalyst model to calculate the steady state storage capacity. For more information about catalyst modeling, visit our website at www.gtisoft.com.